Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. It only took me six million times to get this working. Um, I don't know if the light's going to change if I shut this off. Um, how you guys doing today? So I wanted to get on here. I wanted to share a message with you guys today. A message that uh, came to me weirdly enough, but I have gotten a, a few emails from a few of you where you guys have spoke about um, maybe not being inspired to do your art, not doing your art. One was about weight. Uh, one was about family members, just different, just different things. And then I woke up this morning and I weighed myself and I gained three pounds. Now three pounds to maybe some people doesn't matter, but to me, uh, it does because when you're already overweight and I stay at my same weight, and I keep every day checking, checking, okay, I'm not gaining, not gaining, not gaining. But you know you're eating like a horse or a pig or whatever animal eats a lot. Um, and then you gain three pounds. It's like, oh, my gosh. So I know, you know, so I started beating myself up this morning as I'm eating my bagel with cream <laughs> cheese and coffee with creamer, which I don't normally do. But lately we have been. And it's for comfort, you know. Um, we got a lot going on in the world. Uh, yesterday was uh, I watched our governor's uh thing and, um, you know, what is it? Address, whatever they call it. And, um, that South Jersey is getting hit really bad now. Uh, it was really heavy in North and obviously it's moving this way and it's pretty bad. Um, you know, May 15th is the date that we're supposed to go back to somewhat normal. He doesn't know, but I don't want my daughter having to go to work because she has a, a compromised immune system and I worry and she worries and then she's afraid she's going to bring it home. Like it's this long thing. So I've been eating um, out of stress, you know, and I know, look, it, it's easy for people to judge people who are overweight, who eat for emotional support. It's easy for people to judge. Sorry, honey, I just kicked my dog in the head. Um, but those people who judge, they may smoke, they may drink. And I don't mean drink like, you know, utter drunk, but, you know, they have their wine, they have their, you know, that, that's how they self-soothe. For me, I eat, can't help it. I've talked about this a gazillion times. I know there are some of you out there the same. Um, we really have the best in intentions for ourselves, but you do get to a point where it's like, like, I don't know what to do with myself and not to get into too, too much, but I used to self harm. So, um, there's days that I still get to a point where so bad in my head. And it's only been a few years that I've not, um, that I just want to self harm. So food is what works for me at the moment. But I woke up and weighed myself. The weight didn't stop me from eating. And then I was sitting here and I'm getting ready to do a, vi a art video. And I started thinking and I read the an email I got today and the other ones I had got previous. And I sat here and I started beating myself up. And then I thought to myself, it's never too late to start again. And that is for everything. It's never too late to start again. Um, today's another day that I already screwed the day up a little bit, but you know what I decided? I'm going to do this quick vlog. I'm going to do a little video. I'm going to fold some clothes and I'm going to go out and stand in the sun <laughs> and I'm going to go out and putts in the yard and maybe walk around the yard four times. I have a fairly big yard um, and just walk around four times. Doesn't mean that it's going to be a mile. Doesn't mean it's going to be a quick thing. It's just for me to get a little bit of exercise where I feel a little bit better. And I have to start watching. Now, do, I don't have to start watching because I, I don't like myself. That's a whole other story. I don't have to start, start watching because of any other reason but health. As a lot of you know, I am, I, you know, I'm stage four chronic kidney disease. Um, RA, fibro, diabetes, high blood pressure, blah, 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 all the things. I'm a mess. Um, and I've lived, it, it's been all my life. Now, I've not been heavy all my life. Only when I had gotten pregnant with my first kid, I was always thin. Um, but I've always suffered from those ailments, ailments. They run in my family. Ailments, yeah. They run in my family. So, and as I got heavier and I got older, 
they're more pronounced. So I have to watch for those reasons. And I'm scared to death. I'm like, I, I, you know, I'm one step away from dialysis and I really don't want to go there, but yet it's not enough sometimes to keep me from not eating pepperoni or bacon. Do you know what I mean? And I'm marginalizing it all, but, uh, if that's the right word, but do, do you know? So I was sitting here and this isn't about like, Oh, poor me or, or anything like that. This is to all of you out there who are suffering from beating yourself up too much. Like I do. Um, whether it's about your family eating, maybe it's about alcohol, maybe it's about drugs, maybe it's about, uh, smoking, maybe it's about, uh, maybe not being the kindest, maybe it's about, you know, you woke up in a crappy mood and you're taking it out on every, whatever it is, it could be anything that you might say to yourself, like, Ugh. it's not too late to start again. It's not too late to start again. And that doesn't mean tomorrow I'm waking up and not, no, I'm going to start, it's going to start now. I'm going to make a better choice for myself today. And for me, like I said, I'm going to do my videos and I'm going to, I'm going to go out and walk. And if I can only walk around it twice, then so be it. But, um, the point is, is to make some sort of effort. So whether you do that, because I'm the queen of I'm going to start Sunday, Oh, well, I'm going to start tomorrow when I wake up can't start on a Wednesday. I got to start on a Sunday so I can remember I started on a Sunday. What the heck? I'm just going to make better choices today. Um, and like I said, instead of having, now I'm having breakfast for dinner <laughs> because I don't feel like cooking. I'm going to be working some outside. So is Dave and neither one of us are going to feel like coming in and doing a dinner because we, we've been cooking so much. So we're going to do breakfast for dinner. Um, uh, but instead of having seven pieces of bacon, I'll have two start with two, make a better choice. Uh, and like I said, I'm not about like, Oh, Sunday I'll start Sunday. I'll start tomorrow. I'll start. I'm going to start today and I'm just going to walk. That's my little teeny thing that I'm going to change today is I'm going to walk around the yard a couple times, as many times as I can, um, until I can't anymore because you know, sometimes it's really hard to walk. I don't want to, I have a wheelchair. I have a walker. I'm supposed to be using them. I don't. I don't because I'm stubborn and I'm, I don't because I'm embarrassed and I just turned 50 and I've had these things for five years and I don't want to use them. I don't, I just don't. And if I don't want to use them, I have to get my butt out there. Um, it's bad enough that I suffer from such a depression and whatnot because of my losing my son. And that makes things so bad and you can't, you know, sometimes in your head, it's like, that's enough, you know, and then you add on anything else in that day. And it, it can be, it could be a lot. And I know you guys know, I know everybody has something in their life at the moment or has had something that is like, it gnaws at them. And even on a day where you're like, okay, I think I got it sorted, uh, or it's somewhat sorted, or I'm going to sort it, it in your head. It just gnaws and gnaws and gnaws or in your soul, whatever, whatever way you want to look at it. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's, I'm not going to sit on here and blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm not saying I'm going strict keto. I'm not saying I'm going strict Weight Watchers. I'm not saying any of that um, because it is hard food, believe it or not. I don't know where you guys are at, but food is hard to come by here uh, as well as um, toilet paper and, and, you know, paper towels and all that kind of stuff. Everything's limited. Uh, we finally got a shop at home done. Um, so he didn't have to go walk through the store cause he's nervous going, walking through all the stores, shopping, and then bringing anything home. Um, my poor dog, um, lay down bud. Uh, so we did a shop at home and of course half the stuff's out and they, you know, like I don't buy unbleached. I mean, I don't buy bleached flour. I buy bleached flour. Well, of course, I don't buy bleached flour. I buy unbleached flour, but of course they didn't have unbleached flour. So what they substitute with bleached flour? Well, of course you have tons of bleached flour because who eats bleached flour? Not that it'll kill me the one time I use it, but you know, it's not what I wanted. So they substituted some stuff that I'm not really happy with. We ordered a thing of uh, Hellman's mayonnaise and they um, sent us a small one because that's all they had. Now this is ShopRite. Walmart, however, 
when you order from Walmart and they don't have it, or like I ordered, let's say I order a big, you know, regular size mayonnaise and they don't have the regular size, they'll give you two <coughs> small ones. So it equals somewhat of close to what the bigger one was. <coughs> My goodness gracious. Somebody's choking me from above. Um, so, uh, but, 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 uh, ShopRite doesn't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That and I ordered, I'm so embarrassed to say this, but I'm gonna, uh, I have this horrible, horrible comfort food craving of Cocoa Pebbles. I don't want to talk about it. Tell me your favorite crappy cereal down below that you love so I don't feel so bad, please. And some of you are going to be like, girl, I don't eat crappy cereal. My ass does. However, um, I just eat it for certain, like if I... It's like a comfort thing. It's horrible. I like toast and butter and Cocoa Pebbles. Not Cocoa Krispies, Cocoa Pebbles. So then Emily said, oh, you know what? Give me a, just give me a box of Fruity Pebbles. Now I ordered um, a bag of the, like the bulk crispy Cocoa Pebbles. Well, they didn't have Fruity Pebbles at all. So they gave us two humongous bags of Cocoa Pebbles, which is like, <laughs> so that's, uh, gotta be eaten. See, that's how, that's the way I look at things. But anyway, I just had to tell you my dirty secret. Tell me what your favorite crap cereal is or favorite crap food. Like, do you like pop tarts, toaster strudels, uh, cheese curls, Cheetos? What kind of cereal do you like? Let me know. <sighs> So that's it. So I will leave you with this. Please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. As well as remember, it's never too late to start. It's never too late to start. Today is a new day. Right now is a new moment. Start. Don't beat yourself up and don't, don't, don't do that to yourself. Just say, you know what? I might not have made the best decision yesterday eating that ice cream. But guess what? Today I'm not going to eat ice cream. And today I'm going to try to eat a little bit better or move a little bit more or like Angie Lupus Life does, put on music and dance for, you know, four songs or whatever. Whatever it is, just make one good decision today if you're beating yourself up. You might not beat yourself up. You might be like, girl, I am eating that Hershey bar with the almonds. I'm eating this. I'm eating that. I'm doing this. And be okay with it. And I'm like all... Oh, like good for you. I'm so happy for you. I'm proud for you. Um, not hating on you because I think it's great. But for me, I need to get out there and walk today. So who knows? Maybe I'll video me walking. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do. Who, who knows what I'll do? I never know. But that's it. So I love you guys so very much. Um, I hope this helped somebody out there because like I said, it's never too late to start again. And you know, we're only human. We're only human. I keep saying to myself, and this is all new for us. All of this is going on. Um, nobody knows how to act. Nobody knows what to do. I'm a little frustrated with a lot of people who are saying like, let's just lift this quarantine and go out. We need our sports. We need this. We need that. And it's like, well, you know, for people like me who are immune compromised, it's scary. It's scary. And I just, I just think like for another month, we all need to really self, like really be quarantined that maybe it'll help kick it out of here. Cause Jersey's bad. I don't know what state you're in and you might be in a state that didn't get affected very much, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Just rambling. I love you guys very much and stay safe. Uh, you guys know if you ever need an ear, I do my best to write back. I, I get, sometimes I get a lot of messages and, um, it's hard to, always write back. Sometimes I don't get your messages for whatever reason. Um, so if you write me, I say this all the time, if you message me or whatever, and you don't hear back from me for like a week, message me again. And Marianne McMillan, I don't know if you're going to be watching this or not, but we're all missing you. Uh, I've written your daughter. I have left you countless messages on your Facebook. Um, and I know others have as well. And others has, have spoke of how they miss you. So I hope you and your family are doing well and, um, we miss and love you. So that's it. Uh, I love you guys so much and I will see you on my next video. Bye. -bye.